Okay, this video is called, or this series of video rather, is called Midlife Mastery, and it's made for my Gen Xers. I'm 55 years old right now, so I'm making it for Gen Xers because I really believe that we have the ability to make the rest of our life the best of our lives, but it all depends on the type of responsibility we're looking to take. Now, let me give you a quick background of why I'm here. Before COVID, go back to 2015, 2012, I was a speaker on the college market. I'm making anywhere between 5,000. I was speaking for corporations as well. So it depends on who I'm speaking for. I'm making anywhere between $5,000 an hour, 7,500, sometimes $10,000 for the hour. Depends if I'm doing international flight. My dad got sick in Jamaica and, you know, I went down there for a while, came back, he passed. And then my mom got sick and I took off, took care of her for about a year. And then she passed. After she passed, COVID happened the market change. I was already in a functional state of depression for years. So I was on stage saying, pursue your passion and you can live your dream. But inside I was slowly dying and I needed to really look at my own stuff. And there are four areas really that we need to master for our lives to be really, really fulfilling. And those are the four areas that we're going to cover in midlife mastery. And we're not really midlife. That's what America does to fool us. 55, unless you live to 110, that's midlife. Um, the average life expectancy in the United States is somewhere in the 70s, so midlife is around 38. But again, that doesn't have to be our reality. We could do a lot more to extend our lives and extend more importantly for me the quality of life because would you really want to live to 80 and at 55 or 60 you're in pampers and someone is taking care of you? So no, the quality of life is extremely important. So that's what we're going to look at. So this module or this video is about mindset and the four areas that we're going to go into in in the videos it will be mindset relationships health which i believe is probably the most important mindset and health because they all go together and finances so we're going to take a look at all of that and we're going to look at how to improve it not just look at how to improve but we're going to take steps to improve all those four areas so if you're with me let me know and we can move forward so if you made it this far into the video, obviously you're getting some value. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment, four or five words. And the reason I'm asking you to do all of this, I'm looking to monetize my channel and everything that you do, every interaction really helps me out. So if the video, if you find in value here, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know when I put out new videos. And that will really help me tremendously. I appreciate you. Now, back to what we were talking about. This is one of my passion. I love creating images on my journey and visualizing what life could be like, you know, where I want to travel to all the different places I'm going to travel to, because that's one of the things that I'm doing right now. I travel a lot right now. I'm in Mexico, but Mexico is not a permanent resting place for me. Mexico is just where I am right now. I could see myself in another six months doing six months in Jamaica from Jamaica. I'm going to leave and go to different places in Africa. I'm going to visit Asia. So I'm going to live all over the place. I'm really enjoying my life and making the rest of my life the best of my life. But it didn't start out like that. I had to heal a lot of trauma, a lot of unworthiness. When I look at my life and the way it was really working on the outside, it looked great, but it wasn't working because there was a lot of a lack of self-love. And that came from unhealed childhood trauma that I thought I healed. I thought I really addressed all those issues and I was good. But my outer reality reflected that my inner reality wasn't what I thought it to be. So let's get into it. So in order to make the rest of your life the best of your life, the first thing you have to do is control your mindset. And I'm assuming that the average person that I'm speaking to or the majority of the people that I'm speaking to are in the United States of America. And the United States of America, they, they flood the airwaves with low vibration information. The news is telling you, oh, everything is scary right now. You got to watch out for Trump. You got to watch out for Biden. And everyone is pitted against each other. And it's not an environment that's conducive to really living and thriving. The other thing is the air is poisoned. The food is poisoned. The, the thought waves are poisoned. And it's just a really, really difficult life. The average life in America is you go to work, you work all day and you come home and you just have time to watch the game or something to suppress your emotions and you dive into something else. So that's no way of living for me. So the first thing I did, and, and I've been doing this for, I'm 55, I've been doing this for at least four and a half decades. I've been reading heavily since I was about 10 years old. So 
these are the different books that I have. I'm just sharing with you my, my Audible book because before I used to read the books, but now it's just so much easier to listen to them. So this is what I use, uh, the mindset, and you'll see just the, the, the various type of books that I'm reading. Pure, White, and Deadly, How Sugar is Killing Us. Now, I had an addiction to sugar, and I had to understand, go down, you'll see another book later that, that's dealing with parasites. Red Light Therapy, that's something that I'm learning about. Methylene Blue, very good. Methylene Blue is this liquid drops that I found out about later that they use, they use to clean the fish tank, but it's very good for depression, COVID, AIDS, all these other diseases. And these are these natural cures that are out here that you're never told of. Alex Amosi, $100 million offer, because of course I have products now, I'm selling products, so I have to learn how to move my products. Start with why, Simon um, Sinek, Neville Goddard, you guys know I'm into Neville Goddard. Uh, I'm just skipping through really quickly. I gotta stop saying, ah, that's me not being on the stage, I'm rusty. When I was on the stage, never said ah uh, or any fillers between my word. Now I haven't been on the stage for several years, I'm using fillers. I'm going to get back on the stage though, because that's one of my passion. But right now I'm in Mexico doing live. So really quick, I'm going to run through the books. Not all of them, but I'm reading Doors of Perception. This is about consciousness. I'm reading Your Word is Your One, Florian Trouble Shin. That's a really great book. How to Train Your Mind, Exploring the Productivity, Benefits of Meditation. So just going through, I'm just scrolling through really quickly, showing some of the stuff that I've read, American Nightmare, The History of Jim Crow. I came from Jamaica. I didn't know anything about this. So I had to read about it. The new Jim Crow, mass incarceration in the age of colorblindness. All of this stuff I'm going through, your brain on parasites. So I remember when my mom was dying, I was staying with my sister in Atlanta, and I was making some formula for myself. And my sister's a nurse. She's been a nurse for over 30 years. But we have very different ideology and we see the world through very different lens. In my mind, my opinion, she's bought hook, line and sinker into the system. So I was mixing some concoctions like, Kirk, what are you doing? I said, um, I'm doing a parasite cleanse. And with extreme arrogance and disdain, she said, Kirk, human beings don't have parasites. And I just said, oh, OK. Chugged my drink back and kept it moving. Then I argue with her because, again, she has been programmed by the matrix to believe that human beings don't have parasites. And she's a nurse. So that told me the condition that the medical system was in. And then I saw what it did to my mom. The poisonous concoction that they gave her over and over and over. Oh, this will kill everything. And that's what it did. It killed all the good cells and the bad cells. So... This is your brain on parasites. Really, really great book. I'm in Mexico. So of course I'm doing a 41 hour course on Spanish. I'm going to get this right. Hola. Um, the artist way, the body's many cry for water. We're usually dehydrated. And that's usually the first sign of illness that we have. We're dehydrated and drinking water is not going to help it. You need the water needs something like Celtic salt. You put under your tongue and that takes the water into the cell. If you don't do that, you're just, flooding the cells and you go in the bathroom, you're peeing it out, but the water is not getting incorporated into the cells as needed. So this is something that I learned by studying Barbara O'Neill, and we'll get into her later. So I'm just trying to show you, it's important for you to take charge of your mind because no one is controlling my mind, except I'm reading, I'm putting in strategically what I want to be in my mind. I'm not running around concerned about, oh, I'm fear, this is happening in the economy. And they keep you in fear and they keep your anxiety up. But again, what I'm putting in my mind is telling me something completely different. So I'm studying blue zones, lessons for living longer from the people who live the longest. This is the stuff that I'm reading. I'm looking how to be here because again, I was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. The doctor said I'll be dead by the age of 13, 14, maybe. You know how many of my classmates are buried? I'm 55. I'm still here. I'm looking great. I'm feeling great. I work out every morning. So I'm doing the things that's telling life that I want to be here. The body keeps score. Brain, mind, and body in the healing of trauma. These are the stuff that I have to study on my own to understand how to release my own trauma. So if you see just by my reading list, I'm always constantly trying to do better. I'm trying to learn. I'm looking to become a better person. Atomic habits. You're a badass at making money. Master the mindset of wealth. Again, I had a mindset coming from childhood that told me you weren't good enough. You're not deserving of anything. Um, my two main emotions that I remember from childhood was hunger and fear. And remember, I grew up in the 70s and 80s in Jamaica. My dad at that time was making about 3,500 US dollars. I had no business starving. 
So again, the, the, the lesson or the message that was being sent to me was you're not worthy of even food. While my sister, the one that I spoke about, we all live in the same house. She got lunch money to go to school. She was never hungry. I found that out later in life as an adult. So I'm doing the work to heal the greatest secret I'm reading. I'm just going through the book. The mountain is you. You're the person that you're going to have to conquer. This is a great book. So just running through really quickly, um, self-care by the signs, a parasitic mind, how infectious idea or killing common sense. So you name it, if they wrote a book about it, I'm going to read it. The philosophies of India, the psychology of online behavior. I'm studying everything. I'm reading everything. Exactly what to say. The magic words for influence and impact. Neville, Neville Collection. This book is what, 13 hours long. And I'm going through Neville Connect Collection, right? The Holographic Universe. You guys probably heard about that before as well. Let me just go here. Boom, boom. A hundred quotes by Carl Jung. The Rational Male, the Unplug Alpha, the Financial Therapy Podcast. So I'm just reading a lot. The Book of Enoch, the Angels, the Watchers, and the Nephilim. All these stuff that I guess would be taboo. I'm feeding my mind what I want my mind to, to know. Talent is never enough. 1984, uh, the classic edition, right? Pride and Prejudice, Alice in Wonderland. You not think that I'm reading Alice in Wonderland, but I've read it. I am affirmations. Supernatural, meeting with the ancient teachers of mankind, the brave new world, medical medium. So you name it, I'm reading it. The greatest salesman in the world. I read this book probably when I was 15 years old and I'm reading it again or I've read it again. Many lives, many masters. This is about past lives. So I'm studying all these different areas. The real Dr. Fauci. This is a great book. But again, from studying and reading, I didn't fall victim to the narrative when they were pushing all this fair narrative. It just wasn't in my mind. So what I want to teach in these modules is again, taking back your mind. That is so important. And the other the thing is your health. You got to take back your mind, got to take back your health. The finances are important as well. We cannot act like we don't need money on this planet and money is a bad word. You want to be able to have enough money to buy your freedom. You want time freedom, location freedom, and to have those you're going to need financial freedom. Now, financial freedom doesn't necessarily have to be a hundred thousand a month or fifty thousand a month. It's just what you need. I'm in Mexico and I can live really, really good on 2000 a month. So making 4000 or 5000 a month is more than enough. It's enough to put away for more months and all that. And you remember, you're talking to someone who's coming from a stage where I was making 5000 7000 10000 an hour. As things level out, I'll get back to that. I'll get back on the stage. I'll never abandon the stage. But right now, this is what I'm doing, and I'm fine with it. There's no judgment. Oh, Kirk, at one point you were making 7000 an hour. Now you're making 7000 a month. I'm cool. I'm okay. I don't need the Mercedes and all this stuff that I had before where I thought it defined me. As I healed, I realized I need less and less material stuff. And the relationships, oh, that's where the value really comes. The relationship that I have with myself and the relationship that I have with the people who actually matter in my life. So again, just, I don't want to belabor the point I made this too long. The four areas that we're going to dive in is mindset. Mindset is so important. What you're thinking, what you're telling yourself, what you're believing to be true, your health. We've got to take back our health. And it's so many natural ways to do it. And I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm just going to share with you the stuff that I've done. Like they said, men in my age group, we should need to go to the doctor and get a blue pill. I don't need a blue pill because I take cayenne pepper. And with cayenne pepper, that's one of the greatest things for your circulation. It's great for your heart. It's, it's great for so many other things. But when we get into that module, we'll talk more about natural healing and the herbs. Forgive my Jamaican accent saying the age. I think that's a hurricane beginning to start here now. I'm hearing the rain outside. I'm in Mexico. It's July 4th, and um, there's a hurricane coming through tonight. So my point is I am committed to trading my generational trauma for generational wealth. I'm committing to making the rest of my life the best of my life. But I also understand that I can't do that with the same thinking that brought me here. I'm going to have to do something differently. I'm going to have to think something differently. And I'm going to have to be something different. Now, if you guys are interested, let me share this with you before we get out of here. So I'm midlife mastery, making the rest of your life the best of your life. And I have a book. Let me, let me go to that really quickly. Where is that? The book is called Passport to Freedom because this is what I did before. I made this for you guys. And Passport to Freedom, it's a digital book, an ebook. It's over almost 100 pages. And it's, I think I'm selling it for 10 bucks, but it's worth so much more than that. The light is flickering. So let me say what I'm saying and get out of here. 
because I don't know if we're going to lose power. Passport to freedom. Let me just show you um, what it is. It's the four quadrants that I speak about. So in the book, I talk about health, finances, and uh, relationship and mindset. And the first page is a video. You click on it. It's going to take you to a video. The video is private on YouTube. Unless you have the book, you won't be able to see it. But there, there are videos in the book. That's what I'm saying. And uh, there's a introduction confronting, confronting the harsh realities of modern life. More videos, the importance of deciding to start to get started today. It's a rigged system. If you're in the United States, the system is rigged against you. It's set up for you to just work until you die. And if you remember, they keep moving the retirement age further and further away from you. Before it was 55 years old, then it became 60, then 62, then 65, and you're getting less and less as you retire. So you don't want to be a part of that system. You want to work your way out of it. And when I say work your way out of it, I don't mean slave your way out of it like you've done before. I mean actually start putting something different in your mind so you can have different results. So let me go through really quickly to show you. No one is going to give you the education to overthrow them. And a salary is a drug that they give you to forget your dreams. So right now in these, the age that we're at, middle, middle age, it's time to just really have the best life and expand the life and enjoy the life. Like me, my son is grown, he's married. So now I'm traveling. I'm all over the world. I'm seeing places that I've been to before, but as a speaker, I was able to just fly in and fly out. I didn't really get to see the city. Been to Hong Kong, been to Australia, been all over the world. But again, I never really had time to sit there for uh, two, day, two weeks and actually see the city. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, Warren Buffett, he said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. So I'm just going over the four pillars, what you're going to need in order to succeed, personal growth and development, your mindset, health and wellness, relationship, communication, embracing triggers. So a lot of time we don't heal because we're triggered. So I want to cover that as well. But it's in the book, Unhealed Trauma. Again, these are videos that you could click on. The videos are on YouTube, but they're private videos. Unless you have the book, you won't be able to see the videos. So I made that for you guys. Health and wellness. Define the odds. A personal journey of resilience and self-care with sickle cell anemia. So I'm telling you exactly what I did to overcome sickle cell and not be in the hospital having crisis after crisis. Uh, I took the Bashar five steps to great health, which was oxygenation, detoxification, exercise, hydration, and stress reduction. I've done all of that and I continue to do that. Remember, a patient cure is a customer loss. The hospitals, the doctors, they're all in business to make money. Preventive medicine kills return business. <laughs> I love that. So here I'm talking about the different roots and the herbs and what they do, the burdock root, the nettle leaves, dandelion, cayenne pepper. I spoke about that earlier, black seed oil. So these are just some of the various herbs and natural remedies that I take. Parasite cleanse. I'm eating Barbara Neal. I spoke to you about her before. Research on forgiveness and cancer. They have found that a lot of cancer stems from unforgiveness, not being willing to let go of the past, not being willing to let go of past hurts. Here's a true statement right here. Making an extra $10,000 is easier than trying to save $10,000. The sooner you understand that, the sooner your life will improve. So some people might be watching right now and disagree with it. That's making an extra $10,000 is easier than saving an extra $10,000. But you'll see once you go through the, the modules and what I'm teaching that it's not that difficult. It's a mindset and you just have to shift the way that you're thinking. And in America, you've been programmed to self-destruct. You've been programmed to be dependent on the system. The highest level of wealth isn't when you have a sports car and a big house. It's when you can wake up and do whatever you want with your time. That is true, absolute wealth. So I'm not going to go through the entire book. I'm just going to let you know it's available. It's available for purchase. It's $10. I believe it's less than $10. It might be $9.95. doesn't matter. It's $10. And you'll be supporting me. I appreciate it. But not only will you be supporting me, but the lessons in there, it's just a lot. It's really a lot. It's almost 100 pages. And I'm teaching you what I used to teach corporations for, again, $7,000, $10,000 for the hour. And it's all here and more, actually, a lot more. So it's great value. Decide to be great. Decide to make the rest of your life the best of your life. And again, more videos. What choice do we have anyway? Freedom is the ultimate goal and the price of inaction. Let me go to that. You're always one decision away from living a totally different life. That is absolutely true. It's just making a decision and decide this is what I'm going to do. And the price of inaction is far greater than the cost of making a mistake. Again, going back, these are the four things I'm going to go through. The 
mindset. So you saw the books that I'm reading or have read and you want to do that. You want to get yourself a library. You want to keep your mind sharp because as we get older, if we don't exercise our mind, there's a chess game that I play every day as well. But you want to keep your brain active. You want to keep your brain sharp. You want to keep your body active. You want to keep your body sharp. Every day, if you can, get on the floor and get up because that's a lot of things that happen to us as we get older. We fall down and we can't get up because we lose that muscle memory because we haven't done it. Every morning I get up, I do 100 squats, I do 100 push-ups, and I do 100 sit-ups because I'm telling the universe I intend to be here and I intend to be here in a very healthy manner. So I want you to do the same thing. I want you to start the assignment that I would leave is in those four areas of your life, health, relationships, finances, and I say mindset because spirituality might be triggering or offsetting to some people, but it's really spirituality. It's how you deal with the spirit within you. What are your goals for those four areas? And I want you to have blue sky thinking. Don't limit yourself of what you think is possible. Just write down what is it that you want to achieve. And let's share that. Share that in the comment if you don't mind. And let I'll start putting information together to help you achieve those goals. So that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. Don't want to take too much of your time. And if the book intrigues you or you want to support me in that way, click on the link and get the ebook. And if you send me the email, it's going to come in a PDF form. But if you send me an email after you buy the book, I'll send you the, what is this called? The flipbook version of it as well. All right. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.